a very big God bless you friends, a very big God bless you. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and just to share a few thoughts. Share a few thoughts because there's so many people who are asleep out there and I guess I'm just talking to the awakened ones and uh, I'm not sure anymore that I'm speaking to wake anyone up but just to really continue to wake to to speak to those who are already awakened and to encourage the saints in this hour and anyone else anyone else who uh, feels alone in this hour because friends these are the days to draw a line in the sand we need to draw a line in the sand i hear so many christians say i'm going to take the shot but i would never take the mark of the beast but friends it's the very same reason people are taking the shot why do they think they're not going to take the mark of the beast the reason they're taking the shot is so they can carry on with a normal life i've heard people say that i won't take the shot until i really need to until i'm really being restricted to do what i want to do they're not taking the shot, friends. Many people are not taking the shot so that they can be safe and secure from a so-called virus. No, they're taking it so that they can have their freedoms back. But friends, their freedoms are not coming back. Their freedoms are not coming back. They've already said that, and it could be up to five jabs a year. I think Bill Gates says something like 50 billion vaccines he wants to get produced so that they can keep rolling this thing out. And many of these vaccines are mRNA, messenger RNA, that's gonna go into the uh, cells of the body and produce this spike protein, which in turn produces this antibody. That friends, it's time for us to wake up and to keep awake, not to fall asleep, not to say, okay, I just can't stand it anymore. I'm going to take the shot because we're seeing people say it. I need to see my family. I've had enough. I'm going to take the shot. And some big names out there have just taken the shot who we thought were people that were standing up for liberty and freedom. And at the last minute, they just, in fact, it wasn't even the last minute, but they just were coerced, manipulated. They decided to take the shot. Friends, don't do it. If you feel you don't want to do it, don't do it. I don't know if this... I don't know, maybe this video will be banned. If it is, it's also going to be on BitChute and various other social media platforms, video platforms. But friends, really, it is time for us to wake up to the global depopulation program. <laughs> There's a global depopulation program. It's all prophesied in scripture. It's all prophesied in the book of Revelation that there will be, there will be a depopulation on the earth and this is what they're looking to do because friends the globalists they don't think like us they don't think like us so we think it, it, it's not possible for, for us we have a problem with it we think no the people can't there can't be people out there that are evil they think they're doing a good thing friends they think like the apostle paul the apostle paul when he was Saul, he he was doing a good thing he was he was working for god to destroy christians and to restrict christians and to kill them uh, they think they're doing a good job friends they're doing that they're doing a good job not for god because they're atheists they are secularists they are humanists and um, they their conscience has long been seared as it says in scripture and they are working towards an agenda to basically make this world under a billion people because they see that there's too many people on the earth and uh, they see it as a good thing. They see it as a good thing. Uh, yeah, okay, and you want to call me a conspiracy theorist and whatever you want to say, friends, but if you do the research, and I have poured over endless hours of videos, I've read so much stuff and uh, no, I haven't been looking at conspiratorial websites. Um, I've been looking at some bona fide uh, professors and scientists and doctors who are being completely and utterly destroyed at the moment because they're daring to speak out for the truth. Friends, it's time for us to speak out for the, out for the truth in this hour. Hallelujah. I'm going to stand before God at the, end of the at, at the end of time and I'm not going to stand there with the blood of the people on my hands because I decided to be silent. No, I'm standing up for life. I'm standing up for truth. I'm standing up for truth in this hour. Friends, they're using the pandemic to implement their great reset and you think, well, that's a complete conspiracy theory. Well, on the World Economic Forum's own website, the founder and chairman, 
Klaus Schwab said this, the pandemic represents a rare but um, narrow opportunity to reflect, reimagine and reset our world. You've heard the stories, friends, how our world has been able to breathe because of these lockdowns. They're now talking about bringing in, in lockdowns because of global warming and linking global warming into the pandemics. <laughs> it's time for us to wake up. Uh, we're being uh, used as guinea pigs. This is a massive experimental program <laughs> being rolled out right now. And uh, I know this is offensive to many who might be listening to this who do not believe, but this is the way it is. This is the way it is. And we need to wake up in this hour. We need to wake up and uh, just know that we, if we don't draw the line in the sand now, we're not going to draw the line in the sand late in the sand later. And and it says that the whole world will be deceived. In the scriptures, it says the whole world would be deceived. Friends, how do we know that we're being deceived? We don't, do we? Deception. We don't know that we're being deceived. So when the mark comes along, which it's likely, friends, we are merging seamlessly into the mark. We're merging seamlessly into it and uh, we need to be careful and we need to draw a line in the sand and say, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna stop right here and right now. I don't care what happens to me, friends. I really, I mean this. I've given my life to God. I, I'm not going to be coerced. I'm not going to be manipulated. I will not take that shot even if a gun is pointed at my head. I gave a prophetic word on eternal radio on end time hour some years ago and I said that I would not do anything even if a gun is pointed at my head I will not do it I would die I would die rather than take any uh, uh, manipulative coercive controlling device to uh, make me a slave to the system I'm not a slave I'm not a slave to the Antichrist world order. And so many Christians today say, oh, this Antichrist world order, where is it? Well, it's in the scriptures, friends. It's in the scriptures and it tells us it's not some abstract out there thing coming upon the earth in the future. It's here. It's always been here. That's why we've had the rise and fall of empires and Antichrist leaders since time began. Hallelujah. But here we are. Here we are, friends, and this could be the final empire. This great reset that Klaus Schwab is talking about. They want to depopulate, friends. They want to depopulate the earth. They want it under a million, under a billion. And uh, I actually said this in my book, friends. The war against the masses will proceed covertly long before more obvious weapons are employed. It should not be ruled out that part of the strategy could be uh, part of a government mandated eugenics program to depopulate the earth. Friends, I spoke by the Spirit of the Lord back then and I speak by the Spirit of the Lord now. It is time for us to wake up, rise up and see what is happening across the earth. Great darkness covers the face of the earth. We don't know what's going to happen next, friends. I'm not trying to cause fear. I'm just saying, let's trust in the Lord. Let's trust in the Lord, friends, because um, the future is so uncertain because it's in the hands of these globalists. So because it's in the hands of these globalists, friends, because the world is currently in the hands of the evil one, the Antichrist system, let's put our lives into the hands of the master into the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you don't know Jesus, friends, it is time for you to draw up close to Jesus and to come and say, Jesus, I give my life to you because he's the only one who's gonna protect you in the coming storm. The storm is coming. And uh, we might think it's already hit, but friends, we ain't seen nothing yet. The storm is coming, but Jesus is with us in the boat. He's with us in the storm and he says, lay your 
head upon the pillow with me and you can rest in the storm. Friends, he wants to take us through every single adversity. I'm not going to be a guinea pig. Hallelujah. I'm a child of the living God. So friends, just I wanted to share those thoughts with you. I'm so sorry if it's offended anyone, upset anyone. And if you want to defriend me, then please feel free to. I can tell you so many have. And uh, it saddens my heart, friends. I'm not here to offend anyone or upset anyone. I just want to really just give people the truth. Give people the truth um, in this hour, in this hour, because trouble is coming. <laughs> trouble is here, but it's coming. It's coming, and this is not a fear message. No, it's a warning message so that we can really get into the throne, into the throne room and be with Jesus. So God bless you, friends. Just a few thoughts, uh, maybe a bit erratic, some of the thinking and thoughts, uh, but putting it all together, friends, let's draw a line in the sand. Uh, let's not think that if we um, that we're somehow immune to taking the mark of the beast. Let's be wise. Let's be awakened. Uh, let's uh, be with the Lord. And if you don't know Jesus, this is the perfect time to uh, be with him and to become a warrior in his service. Hallelujah. He wants to uh, he wants to give you the power to not only walk through this darkness, but become a valiant warrior uh, for, for him. Because we are now in the war of the ages and uh, wow, what greater time to be alive on the earth than to be a bringer of truth uh, to this generation and then and then the glorious end will come, friends. When it gets all too incredibly crazy, it will be enough, will be enough. The church will say, come Lord Jesus. And the Lord Jesus will say, here's my time, just like he did the first time when he came to the earth, here's my time. And now it will be his second time and he will come to the earth in the clouds of heaven and oh, hallelujah, everything will be made new. This great reset will be over and the Lord will perform his great reset. The new heaven and the new earth and the saints, all those who have given their lives to Jesus will reign on this new earth. So God bless you friends, love you always. Keep safe, keep uh, be encouraged, be encouraged. The Lord is with you wherever you go. God bless you. Love you always.